Well, most Valley kids have been back in school for a couple of weeks, even a month now. Yep, and this is a time when doctors start seeing an increase in strep throat cases. Uh-oh, Kylie Cruz is live at All Kids Urgent Care in Gilbert. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Scotty. You know, you don't really ever call in sick, and I think it's because you don't have kids, because let's face it, when kids, you know, they're in the classroom, germs can spread pretty easily, and that gets the little ones sick, and sometimes it gets mom and dad sick as well. We are here with Dr. Uh, Sheena Banerjee with All Kids Urgent Care. We've also got Robert here. How are you doing this morning? Good. Good. He uh, is being on TV this morning. Uh, say hi to your kindergarten class. Hi. <laughs> He's, it's still a little bit early, but we want to talk about what you've been seeing. Kids have been back to school for five, six weeks now, and a lot of strep throat cases, unfortunately. Yes, that's correct. So give them a month to exchange germs, and you'll start seeing an uptick in strep cases, which is what we've been seeing at both our clinics. What about uh, hand, foot, and mouth disease, any of the summer viruses? Is that kind of decreased? Yeah, so in the summer, we did see a lot of the hand, foot, and mouth, and we've seen a few stragglers still coming in, but most of the, you know, incidents of those diseases are kind of leaving the community now. And we're going to talk a little bit about prevention. So a little guy, let's let's bring you over here because it's all about washing your hands. And Dr. Banerjee, you have a good little tip for parents out there. When you wash your hands, you don't want to wash it for three seconds or so. You want to actually wash your hand. So yeah, one tip that I give parents is to sing happy birthday to you twice. And you know, the time that it takes the child to sing that is long enough for them to wash their hands. Okay, you ready? Perfect. You ready to start washing on TV? Okay, here we go. You know what, just in case you don't know how to wash your hands, we're doing it here. So you really wash them, wash them for like 20 seconds or so. So this helps them to be able to get off all that bacteria. And this is actually the most effective way to keep your children healthy. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to teach them hand washing habits. Anything else you recommend as far as strep throat is concerned? Yes, um, you know, not only strep throat, but even other infections, make sure that your children keep their hands away from their faces. So no rubbing of the eyes, picking the nose, um, uh, you know, no putting your fingers in your mouth. Those are just not the best thing to do. That's an easy way to transmit germs. Okay, and finally, before we go, the flu, kind of crazy, but it's not too far away. What are you recommending for parents? Because so far, uh, the vaccine is, is not officially out. Some places might have it, but in the coming weeks, you'll be able to administer it. Yes. So yeah, some of the clinics have already started uh, giving the vaccines. This year we are, for children, it is recommended that we only give the intramuscular vaccine and not the nasal spray. So that's the new thing that has come down, recommended from the CDC and the AAP. Okay. Well, I think he's done washing his hands. Are you ready for a popsicle? <laughs> yes, okay, so he gets a popsicle and he gets an A plus for hand washing. Guys, things you learn when you're not a mom, you learn that it's important. You got to teach the little ones how to wash your hands. So good job, Robert, and we'll send it back to you. I'm watching and learning. Kylie, thank you.